I remember perfectly the first moment when the huge black wall was lifting up. I was like expecting, oh, who I want to see in the first line, or because I didn't know who was coming. I knew like my family and my friends, they were coming, but I didn't know who I would come. And I remember perfectly, like, see some friends just at the first line, at the second line. It happened like six months without seeing a really, really good friend. So when I saw all of them there, it was really special. It was really special. It was a moment like I, I will remember for my entire life. At some point of my career, I wanted to make an album. So I started with a few songs, with two or three songs, and a message I wanted to share. That is the title of the album, To Love Until We Say Goodbye. So I got this message of uh, we need to love everything around us up to the last moment because we don't know when we are gonna die, we don't know when a relationship is gonna end, we don't know where we're gonna go to another place or city or moment. And you don't realize how much you appreciate it as soon as the moment or up at the moment like you lost that city, friends, whatever. So it, that was the message. And that was the moment I realized I wanted to start the, the album. Me rápido lo que pensaba, ¿eh? Para que este match es, es impactante. The music process, the music creation, took me about uh, two years and three months. In fact, I made like two or three different albums, but I constantly am being changing the songs. But at some point, uh, when I finished the anime inside me, that day I realized like, okay, this is the, the album. I have like plenty of other songs that I didn't publish. That's what, that's caused my obsession for perfection. The sound of the album, it's really, I would call analog, but not, not for only for use this analog synthesizer. Also for the the captures I did with my recorder because I love love to record and the street noises and I love to record personal moments with uh, that really really they are really important for me. It's really spiritual, I think. I don't know. It's it's difficult to explain. I knew that I wanted to do something special here in my city. I grow up. And then talking with the people that work at the government, we said, okay, go ahead. It was really, really successful. I'm, I'm so happy. And also, the theater means a lot to me because I used to work there. It was so easy to me to prepare the show perfectly as I wanted because I knew every every detail of the theater, like some secrets, some tricks. I knew it and that was so helpful. I think I, I really I choose like people who really have been supporting supporters in my career since I was really young and like really really trusting me and trusting the project and they put all their heart and passion for it. The main singer was Sofia Hedblad, she's from Sweden. It was a big case already because I met her in Thailand in a concert that she was performing like really casual and I thought I wanted to do something with that girl because she has an amazing voice. 
the bass player Richard Zepp lives 10 minutes far away from my studio. He was he made an amazing job at the concert. It was, it was fantastic. Then was Camille, who was a guy who worked with me in the theater. He's been always there, really supporting, doing a, an amazing job. And it was the visual guy, Luis, and then it was a friend, Albert, who is designs like pedals for guitar. He's a really, really young and talented guy. It was so touchful for me like to have the pleasure to be back at the theater as a musician, because it's like, okay, it's that kid that used to work in the theater as well engineering, coming back to show almost 10 years later what his first album or like the ma a really mature point in your career. So it was really nice. So, you guys ready? Oh, that's the last time I can do it. 